Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to check if the AJRC FD435 mini stack is capable of handling 6S motors on a 5-inch racer. My testing platform is the AJRC Wind 5 and basically all I did is replacing the original FD2306 2450 kV motors with the FD2207 1775 kV motors and the original 60 ampere 30 by 30 mm stack with the FD435. After installing all the hardware, I updated the firmware of the flight controller to the latest Betaflight 4.1.1 version and configured it using this excellent step-by-step -step guide by AJRC. In this simple guide, they pretty much go through all the settings that you will need to configure. However, I'm not sure about the accuracy of the scale value of the amperage meter since I suspect that the measured values that were shown on my on-screen display were higher than the actual ones. I did try to calibrate the value using this wattmeter by Toolkit RC and I think that the scale value should be around 600. After making sure that everything is configured properly, I had the doors and tested the Wind 5 with the new FD435 stack using the 4S, 5S and also hopefully with 6S batteries. As you can see the flight with the 4S battery went pretty well and on a side note, I can tell you that so far I'm pretty impressed with Betaflight 4.1.1. Let's fast forward to the end of the video and as you can see the maximum measured current was 181 amperes which is way higher than the expected one and you can also see that the used milliampere hour is 2743 milliampere hour and the battery that I used is only a 4S 1500 milliampere hour battery. On the second flight I used the 5S battery. At the beginning everything went smooth but after about 35 seconds I crashed the quadcopter and I actually thought it was a problem with the AC and it just couldn't handle the 5S battery and a 2207 motor but I think that it was actually a problem with the battery velcro strap and the battery just got detached in the middle of the flight which led to a crash which burned the motor. After this incident I was pretty sure that this EC is burnt but luckily after changing the burnt motor to a similar one everything works properly and maybe it's a good opportunity to remind you that it's a smart move to invest in a good battery velcro strap. After replacing the damaged motor I had the doors again and tested the quadcopter using 4, 5 and 6S batteries and I'm glad to tell you that using these three batteries I pushed the throttle all the way up and the ESC didn't fail. On this video I set the scale for the amp meter to 600 and I think that this value is a little bit too high and the value that you should use should be around 400. Here you can see the flight using the 6S like a battery and I must tell you that I was kind of skeptic and I thought that the ESC is going to fail however I was pleased and surprised to tell you that it didn't. So overall I can tell you that if you're looking for a budget friendly stack not only for your 3 inch 6S quadcopter but also for your 5 inch 6S quadcopter you should definitely check the FD435 and by the way you probably saw that there is some noise in the flight footage so it's probably going to be a good idea to add an LC filter. I'm going to leave you with some photos of the stack changing procedure and with more flight footage. So as always, I thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you in my next videos and goodbye.